फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल एबिलिटी पार्ट टू द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज व्हाट अप्रोक्सिमेट वैल्यू विल कम इन प्लेस ऑफ क्वेश्चन मार्क इन द गिवन क्वेश्चंस यू आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टेड टू कैलकुलेट द एग्जैक्ट वैल्यू हियर इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट 34.9 bracket square divided by 7 plus root of question mark that is equal to 217 Point zero two. Since we have to calculate the answer approximately, we can round off these numbers. So thirty four point nine will be thirty five square divided by seven plus root of x. I am replacing question mark by x, which is equal to two hundred and seventeen point zero two, is rounded to two hundred and seventeen. Now here, first we divide. Thirty five squares means thirty five multiplied by thirty five divided by seven plus. square root of x that is equal to 217 so this will be 7 ones are 7 7 5 are 35 and then you will multiply 35 into 5 and that will be equal to 175 plus square root of x is equal to 217 friends here you have to skip this step and directly you have to write this step because you have to do this orally 35 square means 35 into 35 divided by 7 it means 7 5 are 35 and 35 into 7 that will be 175 plus root x is equal to 270 Then shift 175 to this side. Since it it is addition, it will become subtraction. So you will get square root of 217 minus 175. This all step also you have to skip, and you have to do this orally. That 217 minus 175. That is square root of x. that is equal to 42 and we have to find the value of x so squaring both the sides you will get square root uh, square of the root of x that is equal to x is equal to 42 square and 42 square is equal to 1764 so the approximate value of question mark will be 1764 here just see how to do this square it is like that 42 square that is equal to first you take the square of this 2 so 2 square will be 4 write 4 as it is then multiply all these three numbers So four two is a eight, eight two is a sixteen. Write six, carry on one. Then take the square of tens place digit. That is four square. It will be sixteen plus this carried number one. That is seventeen. And so you get forty two square is equal to one thousand seven hundred and sixty four. Once again check this. First take the square of two. That is four. Then multiply all these three numbers, four, two, and this two index. So four two is a eight, eight two is a sixteen. 
so it will be 6 carry on 1 then take a square of 10th place digit that is 4 square will be 16 and this 1 that will be 17 so the square will be 1764 so whenever you have to find the square of any two digit number follow this method this trick is will always help you in finding the square of any two digit number quickly here is the another question 32.69 percent of 3398.69 plus 12.65 percent of 169.78 is equal to question mark minus 623.68 since we have to find the approximate value to be replaced by question mark just we will round off these numbers 1 2 3 4 and 6 so after rounding off we will get 32.69 as 33 percent of 3398.69 this will become 3,399 plus 12.65 will become 13 percent of 169.78 that is 170 is equal to question mark minus 623.68 that will be 624. Now 33% means 0 0.33 multiplied by 3,399 plus 13% means 0 0.13 multiplied by 170 question mark I replace by X minus 624 here some simply multiply by 33 to this number and put a decimal point after two digits so you will get this as approximately 1122 then point zero three point one three into 170 that will be equal to 22 is equal to x minus 624 so adding this two and shifting this 624 to this side this will become plus so sum of 1122 plus 22 plus 624 that will give you the value of x as 1768 so the approximate value of x is 1768 so the question mark will be replaced by the approximate value 1768 the another question is 600, 6832 6832 
divided by 58 into question mark minus 1624 point six four is equal to one thousand sixty four point two eight since we have to find the approximate value rounding of these numbers we will get six thousand eight hundred and thirty two divided by 58 multiplied by I replace question mark by X minus 1624.64 that is 1625 which is equal to 1064 Now here divide this number by 58 and after dividing we get it as 118 multiplied by x minus equal to ship 1625 to this side it will be plus so adding this two you will get it as 2000 689 so divide by 118 to this number so you will get 2689 divided by 118 that is 22.78 so x approximately equal to 23 so the question mark can be replaced by the approximate number as 23. Next question is 24% of six hundred and fifty minus question mark percent of 123.68 which is equal to 78.2 rounding of these two numbers we will get 24 percent of 650 24 percent of 650 minus x percent I replace question mark by x so x percent of 123.68 that is 124 that is equal to 78 now 24 percent of 650 that is 24 by 100 so 0 and 0 will get cancelled and 24 by 10 it means 2.4 multiplied by 65 minus x percent of 124 that is x multiplied by 1.24 that is x by 100 into 124 so it will be 1.24 that is equal to 78 friends here you can skip some steps but for the sake of explanation I have to do each and every step so here 2.4 into 65 that will be equal to 156 if you shift 78 to this side it will be minus 78 so minus 78 which is equal to take x 
into 1.25 to other side to this side so it will be plus 1.24x and if you take 1.24 again to this side it will go to denominator that is 1.24 which is equal to x so 156 minus 78 that will be 78 upon 1.24 which is equal to x and x is equal to 63 so the approximate value of x is 63 friends in this type of questions your calculation ability is tested so try to solve the maximum number of questions so that you will be able to do the calculations mentally shifting from one side to other side dividing taking square etc here the another question is into bracket 47 multiplied by 562.58 divided by into another bracket 23 multiplied by 112.25 close the bracket is equal to question mark so we have to solve this side and find the answer so first we will round off these numbers so it will be 47 multiplied by 562 divided by 23 multiplied by 112 is equal to x so if you solve this you get x is equal to 10 so the approximate value that can be replaced by question mark will be 10 friends thank you very much for watching this video I hope you must have enjoyed it. If yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that all updates you will directly get into your mailbox. Thank you very much. Friends, you might have enjoyed this video. Then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.